Hi friends, myself R.D. Mahajan, Assistant Professor, Marfada Institute of Technology, Aurumbar, presenting my next series of videos on the topic uh, Laplace Transform from uh, Engineering Mathematics 3. Uh, I will discuss uh, first point as Laplace Transform of Standard Results or Elementary Results. First of all, we try to see what is by transformation. Transformation is an operation by which mathematical expression is transformed to a different form. That is the meaning of transformation. It is changed from uh, one type to another type. A function of one type to function of other type. The Laplace transform operator changes a function of one variable, usually called t, to a another variable called s. Uh, for that we see the definition. Let uh, f of t be a function of t, variable t. For all positive values of t, then Laplace transform is defined by Capital L stands for that operator of Laplace. Laplace of f of t is equals to integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt and the value of this is denoted as f bar of s. Means originally it is a function of t and when it is operated by this operator it is converted to a function of s. That's why it is called as a transform. Provided the integral exists. If this integral exists, then only uh, we can say its value as f bar of s. If integral does not exist, uh, we are not able to get the uh, Laplace transform. Laplace transform is the technique by which function from time domain, this is the function in time domain, is transformed to a function in the frequency domain. Therefore, function from time domain is transformed to a function in frequency domain with the help of this Laplace transform operator. After defining Laplace transform, we see its main use. The main use of Laplace transform is to find solution of differential equation. Therefore, this is the uh, very, very important tool uh, available for finding the solution of differential equation. It is also used to find solution of simultaneous equations, solution of integral equations for evaluation of definite integral. Therefore, these are the some of the areas where we can use Laplace transform. Laplace transform is used for analysis of linear time invariant system such as electrical circuits, harmonic oscillators, mechanical systems, control engineering, signal processing, etc. Therefore, these are the areas where we can use Laplace transform. And we are finding the Laplace transform of the following type of function. First one, continuous function. Laplace transform of piecewise continuous function. Periodic function, step function, and impulse function. Therefore, throughout this chapter, uh, we discuss following types of of function. I will repeat once again: continuous function, first step; second, piecewise continuous function; third, periodic function; next, step function; and the last, impulse function. Okay. Then uh, we try to find Laplace of elementary functions or standard results. The first standard result is Laplace of 1 as 1 by s. Uh, we try to obtain this result or uh, we try to prove this result. Therefore proof, simple proof. Uh, we try to find Laplace of 1 
as. Um, we use this definition. Laplace of f of t is given by integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt and whatever that result we call it as a bar of s this is the elementary result or the definition of laplace transform therefore applying this here it is integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t is here 1 and its integration with respect to t and therefore it is equals to performing its integration with respect to t we get e raised to minus st by minus s and limits from 0 to infinity it is 1 by s constant term with respect to t taking outside and then cancelling that minus n by changing the limit upper becomes 0 lower becomes infinity therefore e raised to 0 we get 1 minus e raised to minus infinity okay and therefore it is 1 by s into e raised to minus infinity is 0 standard value therefore 1 minus 0 and we get the value as 1 by s the required result okay then second Laplace of e raised to a t as 1 upon s minus a provided s greater than a uh, and to obtain this once again we take the help of this result therefore Laplace transform of e raised to a t it is integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t into that function function is e raised to a t d t and it is equals to integral from 0 to infinity uh, combine the power by taking minus t common uh, when we take minus t common here it remains s and here it remains minus a and its integration with respect to t and therefore it is performing its integration integration is e raised to minus s minus a times t divided by minus of s minus a and limits from 0 to infinity again I will cancel that minus sign by changing the limit and taking this outside therefore it is 1 upon s minus a upper becomes uh, 0 therefore e raised to 0 once again we get 1 minus lower is infinity e raised to minus infinity and therefore it becomes 1 upon s minus a e raised to minus infinity is 0 the 1 minus 0 and we get as 1 upon s minus a provided s greater than a otherwise it becomes negative or infinity therefore the second result or we have a, another result Laplace of e raised to minus at Therefore, directly I will replace a by minus a here and therefore replacing a by minus a on the right hand side result we get the result as 1 upon s plus a means when it is plus a t we get here 1 upon s minus a and where it is when it is minus a t in denominator we get s plus a okay therefore second result Laplace of sine of a t as a divided by s square 
plus a square and to obtain this uh, we take the help of we know that sin of theta as e is to i theta minus e is to minus i theta by 2i we take this standard result conversion of sin theta in terms of exponential form and therefore this sin a t we can write down as e is to i times a t minus e is to minus i a t by 2i okay and therefore taking laplace on both side laplace transform of e raised to i a t minus e raised to minus i a t by 2i and then applying the property of linearity what is property of linearity in property of linearity constant term we can take outside therefore here this 2i is constant i can take it outside and then laplace of individual laplace of the first term minus laplace of the second term and therefore it is equals to 1 by 2i as it is uh, applying the laplace of this e is to at x laplace is 1 upon s minus a is the coefficient of t here that is i a minus 1 upon when it is minus here it is s plus and then it is equals to 1 by 2 i uh, in denominator we have factor a plus b a minus b that product is a square minus b square and therefore it is a square minus i square mm. the value of i square is minus 1 that minus and this minus will become plus a square a uh, cross multiplication it is s plus i a and minus s minus i a okay and therefore if you simplify it we get 1 by 2 i uh, s minus s get cancelled i a plus i a we get 2 times i a divided by s square plus a square okay and therefore 2 i 2 i get cancelled we get the required result a divided by s square plus a square Okay. simple proof only thing we have to convert into equivalent exponential form next similarly we have laplace of cos of a t as the result as s upon s square plus a square okay and to obtain this uh, we take the help of uh, we know that cos theta as e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta by 2 uh, using this result and therefore first of all we try to convert cos of a t as with the help of this result it is e raised to i times theta theta is here a t plus e raised to minus i a t by 2 ok and then next step laplace of this means the laplace of this taking laplace on both sides and therefore it is equal to again using that uh, property of linearity constant term I can take it outside it is 1 by 2 laplace of the first term plus 
लैपलास ऑफ द सेकंड टर्म ओके एंड देयर फॉर इट इज इक्वल्स टू uh its laplace is 1 upon s minus i e and plus laplace of this s 1 upon s plus i e again finding the lcm it is 1 by 2 uh lcm is a plus b a minus b that product is a square minus b square i square a square i square is minus 1 that minus and this minus is become plus a square a cross multiplication s plus i e plus s minus i e okay and therefore if you simplify it i s s it is 2s divided by a square plus a square into 1 by 2 uh i i get cancel two to get cancel we get the required result s upon a square plus a square okay we get this result fifth laplace of sin hyperbolic at as a divided by a square minus a square provided s greater than a and to obtain this uh, we take the standard result we know that sin h theta as e raised to theta minus e raised to minus theta by 2 hmm. and therefore sin hyperbolic at i am converting in this form it is e raised to theta theta means here at minus e raised to minus at by 2 okay and then taking laplace on both side therefore laplace transform of sin hyperbolic at 1 by 2 constant i will take outside laplace of the remaining uh, remaining terms e raised to at minus e raised to minus at and then for it is equals to 1 by 2 taking individual uh, laplace laplace of first term is 1 upon s minus a laplace for the second one is 1 upon s plus a Again, that product a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square cross multiplication s plus a minus s minus a, and if we simplify it, it is s s get cancel a plus a we get two a divided by a square minus a square into Out of one by two, and therefore two to get cancel, we get a upon a square minus a square, provided is greater than e. Otherwise, it becomes negative or infinity. Therefore, we get this result. Uh, sixth one, Laplace of cos hyperbolic at as s upon a square minus a square again provided s greater than e therefore here i will convert we know that cos hyperbolic theta cos h theta as e raised to theta plus e raised to minus theta by 2 okay and therefore 
cos h a t as for this it is e raised to a t plus e raised to minus a t by two, and then taking Laplace on both sides, Laplace transform of left hand side, Laplace transform of right hand side. Applying the property of linearity, uh, one by two, I can take outside. It is Laplace of the first term. It is. One upon s minus a. Laplace of the second term. It is one upon s plus a. And then one by two. Again, this product is a square minus b square, s square minus b square. Cross multiplication. S plus a and minus. S minus e. Okay, and therefore it is equal to uh, S is get cancelled. A plus a we get two a divided by S square minus a square into one by two. Two to get cancelled we get oh. therefore S plus S we get two S. Uh, a a get cancelled, therefore we have here s upon s square minus a square provided s greater than e. We get this uh, result number six. Result number seven. Laplace transform of t raised to n. Uh, two result. First one, gamma n plus one divided by s s to n plus one, or its value as uh, n factorial divided by s s to n plus one, provided n is positive integer. Okay. Therefore, uh, proof for this. Uh, Laplace transform of t raised to n as per de basic definition, integral from zero to infinity, e raised to minus s t into f of t. What is f of t here? It is t raised to n dt. <coughs> Then uh, we call this equation one. Uh, we use the subtraction. Put s t as some new variable y. We get t is equals to y divided by s. Differentiating it with respect to t, we get d t is equals to d y by s. Uh, new limits for t is equals to zero. If we put t equals to zero here. We get y equals to zero, and for t is equals to infinity, we get y s. When it is infinity, y becomes infinity. Means limit remains same, uh, zero to infinity. And therefore, using this information in equation one, therefore. Integral from zero to infinity, no change. E raised to minus s t minus y. The value of t is y by s raised to n, and d t is d y by s. It is equal to. Uh, with respect to y, s is constant. Therefore, taking it outside by combining these two terms. Therefore, the addition of the power is. S S to n, and this one plus one. Integral from zero to infinity, e s to minus y, y s to n, dy. Then, at this stage, uh, we take the help of 
another standard result we know that integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus x x raised to n minus 1 dx is gamma n a definition of gamma function a tool to evaluate such type of definite integral and therefore uh, here it is x s to n minus 1 uh, here we are having only y s to n therefore converting in that form plus 1 and minus 1 rearranging that term uh, and then comparing these two result here it is with respect to x here it is with respect to y the first term is e raised to minus x here it is e raised to minus y x raised to n minus 1 y raised to some n minus 1 and that integral is nothing but gamma n and therefore as per definition of gamma function it is gamma of this term that term is here n plus 1 and divided by this okay and therefore we get the first result uh, we have the property uh, for gamma function the value of gamma n plus 1 is n gamma n or its value is n factorial if n is positive integer okay and therefore here it is if we consider this n as positive integer or it is equals to uh, if it is positive integer then as per this property its value is n factorial divided by s s to n plus 1 provided n is positive integer we get the second result therefore all these are these seven standard results once again i will rewrite it and then we try to see one one example of each how we can use that results uh, first of all i will write the basic result laplace of f of t as integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t dt and we call it as a bar of s uh, function from t it changed to function of s function of t changed to function of s then the first result laplace of 1 as 1 by s second result laplace of e raised to a t 1 upon s minus a provided s greater than a then simultaneously we try to see the example of that type therefore find laplace of e raised to 14 and as per this it is 1 upon s minus a what is a here 4 coefficient of t with condition s greater than 4 or Laplace of e raised to minus a t as 1 upon s plus a and therefore try to get the Laplace transform of e raised to minus 3 t it is 1 upon here minus therefore s plus a therefore here it is s plus a a is here 3 Laplace of sine of 2t uh, standard result sine of at mm. it is a divided by a square plus a square 
and therefore example find laplace of sin of 2t this yes. what is a here 2 divided by a square plus 2 square 2 square is 4 cos of 80 la plus of it is s upon a square plus a square a uh, example la plus of find la plus of cos of 5t as for this it is s upon a square plus 5 square 5 square is 25 okay sin hyperbolic 80 it is a divided by a square minus a square provided a is greater than a hmm. and therefore find laplace transform of sin hyperbolic 2t okay it is a a is here to divided by a square minus a square to square 4 provided a is greater than a is greater than 2 la plus of cos h t result is s upon a square minus a square provided a is greater than a Find Laplace of cos h seven t, and as per that, it is s upon a square minus a square. Ah, uh, a is a seven seven square forty nine, provided a is greater than seven. Okay, therefore, uh, these are the six first six is it. Seventh and most important, that is Laplace transform of t raised to n. Hmm. Two values. One is gamma n plus one divided by s raised to n plus one, or hmm, it is n factorial divided by s raised to n plus one. Provided uh, n is positive integer, hmm. a positive integer we have to apply this. Otherwise, we have to apply this. Uh, for example, hmm. two simple example I will consider. Find Laplace of t square. Hmm. Here n is two positive integer. Therefore, its Laplace is n factorial. 2 factorial divided by s is to 2 plus 1. 2 factorial is 2, and s is to 3. We get this result by applying this. And one more, Laplace of t is to 1 by 2. Okay, uh, here. I will perform this. Find Laplace of t raised to one by two. Uh, here n is not positive integer, therefore we use the uh, this result gamma n plus one n is a one by two plus one divided by s is to n plus one. Okay, and then. Uh, to find the value of this gamma, we use this property of gamma function. Gamma n plus one is n gamma n, and the value of gamma one by two as root pi. Okay, and therefore.
this gamma n plus 1 I can write down as n gamma n n is here 1 by 2 gamma n gamma 1 by 2 divided by s s to 1 by 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 that is we get 3 by 2 and then it is equals to 1 by 2 the value of gamma 1 by 2 is root pi divided by s s to 3 by 2 ok therefore like this uh, we can use all this seven standard results of Laplace transform uh, in my next video I will discuss some more examples on the use of this all standard results I am very much thankful for uh, your overwhelming response for my first series of videos on engineering mathematics 1 uh, simil like my videos share it uh, free to give the feedback and if you like it uh, please subscribe my channel for uh, latest updates